welcome back to Love Connection. Told you we'd be back in two and two. <laughs> our next guest says she likes her men to be very wealthy. Let's say hello to Robin Gibbons. <laughs> Whatever call me Charles, I'll go off. <laughs> so Robin, tell us about this wealthy thing. Well, Chuck, I don't want people thinking that I'm the type of woman who's only interested in the size of a man's wallet. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are things that are just as important. Like what? Well, like what's in the wallet. Am I right? Thank you. Okay. Well, Robin, last time you were here, you picked a man to go out with. Now you're back to tell us how it went. Let's say hello to Mike Tyson. Hello, Michael. Hi, Michael. Hi, Robin. How you doing, Chuck? Hi there, Mike. How are you? Well, I gotta say, I'm really ecstatic to be here. All righty then. Robin, tell us how the date started. Well, at first I called Michael, and of course things didn't go very well because he's just a boxer from Brooklyn, and of course I was a Harvard medical student. <laughs> what about you, Mike? What did you think of Robin? Oh, well, Chuck, when I first saw Robin, I was ecstatic. I mean, she had this, she had this really tight dress on, you know, the kind with the push-up bra, and her breasts were like popping right out, like hitting right in the eye. As soon as I saw him, Chuck, I said, wow, I'm in love, you know? Sounds like you two really hit it off. So where'd you go first? Well, first, Chuck, we went to this lovely little jewelry store where I allowed Michael to purchase me a very lovely ruby, diamond, and sapphire collection and a matching car. Sounds nice. You give Mike anything? Lithium. <laughs> It made me feel really ecstatic, Chuck. Uh-huh. Yes, we know, Michael. We know. So, where'd you go next? Well, then we went to the most beautiful little wedding chapel where my mother was waiting with the justice of the peace, and we got married. Thank you very much. Mike, what did you think of Robin's mother? Well, I got to be honest, Chuck. I wasn't too ecstatic. <laughs> You know, I looked at her mom, the first thing I thought was, wow, this lady really needs a hair weave. And I'm, I'm sorry, Robin, I'm, I'm really sorry, her darling, but your mom's head, her forehead is just way too big. And she just has a little, too little hair to cover it, you know? But I tell you something, though, what really separates Robin from her mom is class. Because the Franks would still bother me because I had a boiled egg, too. And I kind of cut one in the car, you know? And her mom made a big stink out of it. <laughs> Ron, we're almost out of time. Tell us about the rest of the day. Well, Charles, after the bank, the lithium began to wear off, and Michael went a little wild. Oh, Didn't come you, on, Robin. What happened, Mike? Oh, well, well, Chuck, it was really simple. It was quite innocent. You know, I was in the parking lot picking up the car. I'm waiting on Robin and her mom. And I see this girl. She has a really nice butt. So I walk over. I go, hi, my name is Mike. And then I shove my tongue down her throat, you know. And this guy comes over and goes, hey, that's my mother. So I punch him in his gut, you know. And he started making a little warming noises. It was pretty funny. He was like, oh, God, I'm bleeding internally. It was pretty funny, you know. And it reminded me of the Bone Crusher Smith fight where I hit him in his third rib and then tried to push his nose up in his brain. You know, I came over with a whoa, 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 ding, ding. Down. Ding. Wow, that was quite a date. <laughs> Let's see who our audience picked for you. Was it Mike? John Kennedy Jr. Or Donald Trump? Yeah. They picked Mike by 41%. So if you two would like to go out again, <laughs> ultimately, Mike will pay for it. Well, there is a lovely little fur salon I'd like to go to. Michael, I wouldn't mind. What about you, Mike? Oh, I guess it's all right, Robin. <laughs> well, be sure to come back and tell us about it. Hey, Mike, maybe I'll see you on Scrabble sometime. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey. 
ecstatic. E X K I T. All right. Are you gonna tell him he's wrong? Well, that's it, folks. I'm Chuck Woolery. Until next time, may all your dates be a matter of public record.